The explosion badly damaged the security building. There were fears that casualties could rise as more people are pulled from the rubble. Attacks by Islamist militants in Sinai are relatively common, but mainly in the north. This one in the south will do nothing for tourism at nearby resorts. At Ismailia on the Suez Canal, gunmen meanwhile opened fire on soldiers, killing five or six. And in Cairo, grenades were fired at a communications center, wounding several people. Despite all that, Cairo itself was calm and it was business as usual for many this morning after a day of riots and killings that left more than 50 people dead. With the Muslim Brotherhood now largely driven underground, people on the streets have only harsh words for them. They want to bring the country to its knees, this man said. They want to rule us or kill us, but they can't because the army, the police and the people are all together. Yesterday's violence was the worst since the security forces moved against the Muslim Brotherhood in August, killing hundreds and arresting their leaders. The movement's trying to stay alive by staging demonstrations against the military, which ousted the elected Islamist president, Mohamed Morsi, in July. Now more have died, but they've promised further protests later in the week. Jim York, BBC News, Cairo.